Now we're up to A12, and A12 is, an, is a modified block. I don't know if that's coming through. So that the modification is in the booklet of this kit. Basically what they've done is simplified. There's less pieces, but it's the same exact look. So we're gonna work from the booklet here. And what we have is a square and a square and a square and a square. So we're gonna start from the center and work our way out. So I'm gonna take the triangles and attach them to the center. Then I'm gonna take these and attach those to the center. Then these triangles, then these, and then these, and then finally the last of the corners. So I'm gonna base my square opposite sides and opposite sides. These, I'm gonna base two of them hypotenuse first and then the legs so that um, they don't, the tags don't clash, but I guess I could do all of them that way because all the tags are going in the center, but I'll see how that goes. And these, I'm gonna baste the short sides first and then the long sides. Uh, but we'll see if I need to change up any of my basting as I go because some of this might clash and stuff. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna baste these five center pieces and I can get those assembled. So I've got my center pieces basted and I did decide to do opposites. So I got two one way and two the other. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach these to my center square. So I've got my triangles on my center square. So the next thing to do is to add these pieces. So I will base them and get them ready for, to attach. So I basted my next round of pieces and now I will attach them to the center section. So I've attached the next round of bars. So the next thing to do is to attach the next round of triangles. And I'm gonna to try to match up the basting with the one above it. So this one will be hypotenuse first then the legs and this will be the opposite legs than the hypotenuse. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those basted. So I've got the next round of triangles attached, so now I've got a square again. Next is to attach these around that square. Just wanted to make a side note. While you're connecting these, you wanna make sure that you start on the edge with it lined up correctly. Go into about, you know, go in a little bit, tie off, and then come back here and line up. It hasn't been so bad yet, but as you grow, as it grows to the outside, it'll be a little off. So you want to make sure that you're intentional about this. So with these that I'm working on attaching right now, I'm going to make sure that I've got this edge, the point of this black tip on the point of that orange triangle. And then I'm going to stitch that down a little ways and then go back here and force this to be where it is because it's a little this is a little short because this has grown a little bit which is a normal thing so I'm gonna go ahead and stitch this but I wanted to make sure that you know to ease in this these pieces as you go along or you're gonna have issues by the time you get to the outside so I got my next round of pieces around my center section so the next ones after that are gonna be around these triangles and the triangles are not going to go here where the seams are like the rest of them have triangles are actually going to go here so these are going to go on these pieces like this so make sure that you put them in the right location because with the way that this has been going it's real easy to want to put them here but they won't fit so we're going to finish off this as a, as a square the other way when I attach the triangles, I'm going to make sure that each point of the triangle lines up with the absolute edge of this piece. It shouldn't be that much of a problem because they're both uncut pieces of paper, so they should already line up pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and base these triangles and get them attached in their proper place. So I've attached the edge triangles, so now I've got a square diamond, however you look at it. And my last thing to do is to attach these large triangles on the outside. 
So I've attached the outside triangles and now my A12 block has been completed.